Hi everyone, this is Teresa Green with Slow Paths Wellness and it's time for Mindful Monday. Today we're going to do a very simple exercise that is aimed at just a relaxation response and you can use this anytime you want a quick break to be able to reset your nervous system. You can also use it when you're trying to fall asleep if you have a hard time with that sometimes. Just doing this even if you don't fall asleep it'll allow you to be more rested. So today, <clears throat> go ahead and find yourself a nice, comfortable place to sit or lay down, whatever is best for you, or even standing if you wish. And kind of get yourself in a position so that you can be very, very relaxed. So I have my arms on the armrest here, and I have my feet flat on the floor. Now, I'm not leaning back because I want to look alert for y'all, but if you want to sit flat against the chair with your head back, that's fine as well. So now to start out with, Let's first set our intention. Our intention for this mindfulness exercise is to become deeply relaxed and to allow our body to come out of sympathetic nervous system uh, response, which is fight or flight, and go into the parasympathetic nervous system response or even a vagal nerve response. So that's more the rest and digest or the time your body fixes things or the time your body goes into a more relaxed state of being where it's able to do a lot of the housekeeping things that it doesn't get to do when it's on edge and nervous. And so now go and close your eyes and just do five normal breaths where you're not hurried, you're not necessarily trying to take a giant deep breath, you're just breathing in a way that you feel like would promote relaxation. So I'll do that with you. there. <clears throat> now you may have noticed that while I was breathing, I breathed in through my nose and out through my mouth. That's just because most of the meditation forms that I've studied over the years, that's one of the things we did and it's sort of habit for me and that's how I sort of uh, let my body know this is a relaxing thing we're doing and to get itself kind of in that mindset or that state. If that feels good to you, do that. If that ends up being something that you have to focus on too much so that you don't feel like you get the benefits of the relaxation, then just breathe normally. So now I want you to sit with your body and just think of it as a working organism. So it's doing the things that it needs to do and it's trying to move towards health. Now it doesn't always move exactly the way you would expect it to and sometimes you have to help it out a little bit because sometimes it'll be doing something that seems to be moving towards health or survival in the way the nervous system views it, especially that lizard brain down in the back that handles sort of automatic functions. But it's moving towards health, and so you want to give it credit for that, to let it know, I know that you're working on being the best we can be, and I want the cognitive part of my brain to work with the more reflexive nervous system to go that direction. So just kind of, again, so it's sort of like setting a, a secondary intention for today. And now, for the actual mindfulness, go on ahead and close your eyes, and then picture just as if a um, photocopier scanner light was going down your body, and you're going to, as the scanner, as this imaginary scanner light goes over each part of your body, just allow yourself to relax. And I'll talk you through it, so you can kind of move your scanner along with me if you want. I'm just going to close your eyes and first we'll start at the top of your head and as that scanner light moves very slowly just imagine as if someone had kind of had their hands in your hair with a grip. Not an uncomfortable grip or a scary grip, just a little bit of a grip there and then they let it go and so you feel even that slight release of tension where your scalp is a little bit looser and feel that go down to your forehead and you can imagine all the little lines that come across your forehead and 
are a lot of them just there naturally but imagining them smoothing out can help you to get that feeling of relaxation in your forehead then go to the back of your head and the same thing just kind of picture the skin on your scalp feeling comfortably loose all the way down to your neck then come back to the front of your body and so for your eyes picture them as if they're sitting in two pools of really refreshing cool water and so they're able to feel nourished and kind of sit in the socket in a way that's comfortable not like they're trying to see ahead of things all the time just at rest then picture for your nose and across your cheekbones of going towards your jaw just imagine that area feeling open and free and spacious and if you have maybe some blocked nose things going right now, imagining that will help your body to be able to start the process of getting rid of some of that phlegm. Then feel behind, back in your nose, back kind of in your head. Feel that area just release tension. And sometimes it helps to imagine a clenched fist opening up or a rubber band that's stretched really tight, being loosened. Whatever helps you to be able to imagine relaxation and feel relaxation. And sometimes while you're doing that, it helps just to take a breath. So we'll take an extra breath here and just an in and out. And just allow tension to drain away. And go to your jaw. And for your jaw, just picture as if you're your mouth is able to kind of hang open. Now you don't have to actually drop it that much if you don't want to or if that's uncomfortable, but if you can just imagine if you're able to just drop your jaw down like that and not have it feel tense and tight. And then feel your tongue as if your tongue's able to relax and sit comfortably in your mouth. And then go down from your throat all the way from the, where it connects to the head to where it connects to your torso and then the back of your neck each of those five vertebrae that's in there, just picture each one. You can imagine as if between each one there's just a tiny little bit of space comes between them as a relaxation space as you go down to where you reach your torso. And you can take a couple of breaths and while you're doing that, your little photocopier light can kind of pause there and let your body just really sense that relaxation that you're working towards. Now you come to your shoulders and just picture your shoulders being able to be back a little bit so that they they're kind of in a place of where you feel like a quiet comfortable power and your shoulders can be down you don't want them up here near your ears you want them down and you can have your arms and if you have armrests this is especially nice you can lay your arms on your armrest and just picture as if you were a very powerful king or queen or ruler and that you're able to be completely relaxed and completely confident of what you're doing. And as you are there, you can relax into that feeling. And let your shoulders, feel that relaxation in your shoulders. Feel it going down your upper arm to your elbow, and down your elbow to your wrist, and then to your hands. And just let your arms and hands feel very heavy, whether they're resting on an armchair or in your lap, or on beside you on the bed or just at your side. Just let them feel very heavy. They don't have to do anything right now. They can just sit and relax. Now feel that same relaxation come from the top of your chest and your upper back and then along your rib cage. It may help here to take a few breaths and just kind of feel yourself breathing in good things and releasing tension out when you breathe out. And down, feel that good re relaxation going down your rib cage and down to your upper abdomen, and then your middle back, and then your lower abdomen, and your low back. You can just feel in each one of those cases, just feel little fists opening up, or little rubber bands that were stretched really tight, getting loose and comfortable. And then you come down to your hips, 
and just picture them feeling relaxed. They're not working really hard to hold you upright. They're not working really hard to be just so and try to be uh, impressive to anybody or anything like that. They're just sitting peacefully and in a relaxed state. And the same thing down your upper leg on the front side, down the back of your thigh. Just let your legs feel heavy and feel relaxed. And the same thing on your knees. Just let your knees feel that same little bit of openness we talked about on your neck. Just imagine all the little bones on your knees getting just a few millimeters of extra breathing space and being able to be relaxed. And then go down your leg, down your shins on the front and your calves on the back. And just picture them again feeling very heavy and very relaxed and very calm. And your ankles and then down on your feet and go from first toe, your big toe, to your second toe, to your middle toe, to your fourth toe, and your fifth toe, and then down on the bottom side of your feet, and especially if you have any trouble with pain on your feet, picture that place on the ball of your feet that can sometimes feel very tight, or where plantar fasciitis can sometimes happen, and picture that rubber band again. Picture it as being stretched really tight, and just picture it loosening up and getting more and more loose and soft and picture as you picture that it'll allow your brain to do the same thing for your feet to kind of let those tendons feel less tight and less tense and able to relax some all right so now we're going to do that one more time so that you have kind of a, a second layer of relaxation and we'll do a little bit less talking a little bit more just going through each area so go ahead and start at the top of your head imagine the Hand, releasing your hair so that your scalp can be loose and then go to your forehead the back of your head and then to your eyes as they rest in the pool of cool comfortable water and then the side of your head down to your jaw across your nose and over your cheeks and just feel from your nose to your cheeks across to your jaw, jaw if it was a comfortable, open, very relaxed space, like an open room full of possibilities. And then from your jaw down the front of your neck, the back of your neck, imagine the little spaces, relaxing spaces between each of the bones going down your neck. And then across your chest, that upper chest to your shoulders. And we can go ahead and let your chest feel relaxed and then carry that relaxation over to your arms and let each arm, the upper arm, just feel heavy and relaxed down to your elbows, down to your forearms, the front and back of each one, and your wrist, and your hand, the upper part of your hand, and then the palm of your hand, and then each one of your fingers, just feel your thumb feeling heavy and relaxed and your index finger heavy and relaxed and your middle finger heavy and relaxed again and your fourth finger very heavy very relaxed and your pinky or your little finger at the end just very heavy very relaxed very calm now take a breath just to, for your whole upper body part we've gone through so far just breathe in and then breathe out any tension that's there. And then come back for your chest. Let it relax and feel open. And we can feel this plenty of space around for your heart to be able to beat and for your lungs to open and close. And your all the muscles are relaxed in a way that allows plenty of freedom for those movements to happen. And then along the rib cage, just under here where a lot of times there's a lot of tension, you can just feel that again. We can use the idea of the fist opening or the rubber band and just feel that opening up and being both relaxed and powerful and very open. And your upper back, same thing, just kind of let it feel relaxed. And then down 
on your abdomen and your lower back. Just feel the way it relaxes when you realize there are no burdens for it to carry, that that part of your body can just be calm and relaxed. And go down to your hips and feel them open. Let them feel very heavy, very calm. And then down your legs, the upper part of your legs on the front and your upper thigh on the back and then your knees and down your shins down your calves to your ankles and then the top part of your foot the bottom part of your foot and then down to the toes on each side your big toe and the second toe your third toe your fourth toe and little fifth toe now feel your entire body as one very relaxed organism, very tired, very able to rest and feel calm and at peace. And I'll take just five breaths, just feeling that very calm self that is you. Wish you a very happy day, and I will see you next Monday.